Hello and welcome to another Yesterday's Airlines video and in this video as you can see we're going to be taking a look at some more sets from Fantasy Wings. Now if you've watched the other videos then you'll know who Fantasy Wings are but I'll go through it anyway. Again, uh, Fantasy Wings are a Hong Kong based retailer that has begun to make a really quite impressive range of moulded ground surface equipment and airport apron components for 400 and 200 scale die-cast model airliners. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the two sets ahead of us here. Um, firstly, on the right, we've got passenger set A, and on the left, we've got a cargo add-on set. So we'll get those out, have a look around, do a quick comparison with um, some other ground surface equipment. Now, obviously, GSE is super important if you've got an airport diorama, and that's the market the Fantasy Wings are really aiming at. I think it's a growing market from what I see. Lots of people are building their own um, model airports, or they're getting the airport set from Gemini Jets. Um, and there's an increasing number of providers for this kind of material, um, given the rise in 3D printing. But Fantasy Wings, even though they started out with 3D printing, have moved into you know, a better, high quality product using molds and plastic and die cast parts. And so that is um, the sort of um, GSE that they are making nowadays and the sort that we've been reviewing in these videos. Okay, cool. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, um, start with a passenger set, I think, and we'll take a look around and see, you know, kind of how that looks and feels. Okay, now before I open this up, um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you um, do enjoy the content here. And check out my content also at yesterdaysairlines.com where I write a huge amount of material about 400 scale die cast models. And obviously also check me out on Instagram and Facebook, both at Yester Airlines. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this set, which is, as you can see, FWDP PS4001. I think that means this is the very first um, molded set that Fantasy Wings produced, but it is still available. And you can see that as um, part of the set, you get two food trucks, you get two airport buses, you get a pair of powered air stairs, and you get this little ground generator unit as well. So let's open that up and have a look. Now, the good thing about um, Fantasy Wings packaging is, as you can see, that you don't have to destroy it to get the models out. Um, it just clips around, which is really handy. So you can always take this off and you can put it back together again without damaging the cardboard, which is really nice. So let's have a look at what we're getting here. Let's take these out of their set. Probably just want to do it just to do that. And we've got ourselves um, our two trucks. We've got ourselves our two powered air stairs. We've got ourselves our two buses and our little generator unit there. Okay, so just got back from having to feed my cat as you probably could hear on the video. Um, he was meowing, desperate for some food. So anyway, <laughs> got out the Delta A350 by NG Models here so you can see how these vehicles scale in comparison to a 400 scale model. And as you can see, um, they scale really nicely. Now, one of the interesting things about this set is actually how similar it is um, in many ways to some of the classic Dragon Wings GSC. The buses in particular are a bit of a giveaway here. I mean, you can see they're not the same as the Cobos 300, 3000 um, buses, which um, have been produced by Fantasy Wings. They are quite different if I just perhaps bring one into here and maybe try and focus on that. That these are these kind of double-ended buses where you've got the, the front of the bus here, you've got some entry doors on both sides, but you also got an exit door at the rear as well. And actually they, you can see here, we've got a very similar looking bus made as part of the classic Dragon set, um, which many of you probably have. But you can obviously see that even though they're quite similar, and no doubt based on a real bus, the uh, Fantasy Wings effort is a significant improvement in terms of not just the level of printing detail available here, but also the molding detail too. You can see you get the little um, light is, is better and it's also painted too, but you also get just a slightly better quality detail across um, the entire model. And to pick this up and turn them over, they do look very similar actually, um, but 
not exactly the same as you can see at the, the rear wheels. So definitely modeled after the same type of bus, but Fantasy Wings is giving you a better level of printing detail here. And the same kind of goes also for the, uh, the food truck, which um, is actually really, really nice. Um, and if you look at this, it looks really, really impressive. And as per usual with these models, it will move up on the scissor lift as well. So that's nice. And you can always put your own decals on the side if you want to represent a particular airline. Now, again, it looks quite similar to the sort of thing that was produced by by Dragon, but again here you can see there's substantially better casting and um, detail than was provided on the old classic Dragon Wings one, even if they, they do seem to share some elements. So really looking very good. Um, I actually really think these are these are probably some of the better food trucks that I've seen. Um, it'll be nice to have um, you know some branding on them perhaps but but they're actually yeah they look really good. Now the other components of the set are the powered air stairs and again you get yourself a little truck here with some some nice detail and good level of print detail here and obviously as always with these things the um you can take that off or you can move it up and down to fit the height of your wide body on narrow body aircraft so there's plenty of scope here i actually don't think this this piece is quite as nice as the others um it's not it's not bad but it's it's not quite as as nice i don't think and the last part of the set um is this little generator pod which kind of is a bit random. It's a nice, nice to have, and it actually looks pretty good, but there's nothing really to attach it to to, to move it along because um, none of the other elements have a tow bar. But as, as part of a wider amount of ground service equipment that you're gonna be getting, I think it, you know, it makes a nice little addition. And if we put these back with the model, as you can see, um, then it all scales very nicely and you can have your buses. If we put the air stairs up to the door of this A350, let's make them a bit longer, and presumably the you know, generator pod will probably be over there somewhere. So you have a, you know an interesting set of ground service equipment here which fits very nicely with this 400 scale model, gives a really you know nice look and adds a lot of detail and interest. Um, to your airport diorama setup. I, I really think you have to get this sort of GSC and it is incredibly hard to find um, outside of Fantasy Wings. These old Dragon sets that I was just showing you are incredibly rare um, and, and obviously not as nice anyway. Um, and even though there's GSC made by people like Aero Classics and Gemini occasionally, there isn't a lot of it. And often it's um, not particularly suitable to a modern airport setting either. So I think this Fantasy Wings um, set is, is a really nice starter. It certainly was a, their first set and they've moved on quite a bit since. Um, and yeah, it looks really good with the aircraft. So that's the first set there. Um, set number one, which is called Passenger Set A. Cool, so let's move on to the second set, and that is a cargo set, so it doesn't really fit too well with a Delta A350, so I'm gonna switch over aircraft, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've switched up to an uh, SF Airlines freighter here, and that's because we're gonna be looking at this set, which is um, the cargo add-on set, um, FWDP CG4003, and you can see that it proudly says this one is actually die cast and consists of a variety of containers and a couple of um, sports cars on trays, which is quite interesting. So again, much like the previous lot, um, the packaging can be taken off without destroying it, though this one does have <coughs> a couple of staples keeping it in place. Okay, there we go, so it's out the packaging, and again, if we just take these out, we can see what we get here. <clears throat> so, there's an interesting selection of containers here. Now, again, I don't think that you're gonna be buying this set um, on its own. You probably buy this with others, um, especially um, if you've got some interactive um, or Gemini sets, but you've got some really interesting sections and different types of containers here. If we just kind of split these up to have a look at what we have. 
Oh Gott. Okay, so I've got that in focus and we've got two of these quite large um, boxes with mesh netting across the top. Each of them has its own base plate. Um, so they're quite you know, useful and large and look very good as car containers. We've got two of those. Then we've got a pair of these kind of belly freight um, style containers. And I'm not up on my container uh, designation, so sorry about that. I don't know what type of containers these are. We've got two of those. And again, there's some nice printing detail here. Um, certainly more than enough for a container. Okay, next we've got a pair of this style of container, which just has the corner slightly cut off, as you can see. Take into account the curvature of the aircraft, I imagine. And two smaller box containers, which again, have a surprising amount of detail on them in terms of um, compartmentalization, it looks like and text as well and then two of these much smaller containers again um, I've got some of these by other manufacturers they never have this level of detailing on them these look you know really quite detailed and nice and the last pieces of the set are these little Lamborghinis Ferraris I'm not sure quite what they are car wise but um, sitting on a pallet here so they actually look quite nice and cars are something which almost never get produced at scale and obviously they're tiny um, but if you are trying to do some land side part of your airport then it's quite handy to be able to get hold of some I'm not suggesting you buy the set for the cars at home but um, nonetheless they look pretty good so there's quite a range of different containers here we've got one two three four five six different types of containers um, to go with your cargo area and I imagine that you'd have to get quite a few of these sets if you had um, any kind of sizable cargo space. Okay so I've just maneuvered these down next to the uh, 747 freighter here and you can see that it actually does um, make the freighter really stand out, makes it look a lot more detailed having um, a decent set of containers especially when they've got such a nice level of detail on them. Um, so again, once again, Fantasy Wings are, are producing these, these nice little sets which really provide, you know, that real point of interest, I think. Um, when you're looking at your model, they make it look a lot more realistic. Um, if for the first time, you know, we're getting to the sort of level that train sets kind of typically have had for a long time, where the models, you know, don't look out of place on a diorama because the, uh, the airport structures around them and the vehicles all also look... You know really nice so i think that you know broadly you know this is this is a good little set um the only problem that you you like to have um with this sort of gse is <laughs> to have any kind of sizable diorama you need to get quite a lot of it and um and i actually don't have a cargo ramp on my airport so it's not a dramatic issue for myself but if you're a big fan of cargo i see you're going to have to get quite a few of these sets to make this quite plausible and at the same time obviously you need to get some loaders um, because this set only comes with the uh, the containers and not with anything to actually make it look like they're being loaded onto the aircraft now there are plenty of um those kind of loaders available though often again they're hard to find but fantasy wings has versions too so um you know it's another nice little set that that is going to help make your airport really pop Cool, so that's it for this video. Um, a quick look at those two um, GSE sets, um, which you know really add that little bit extra to your diorama. Um, I think Fantasy Wings are doing a great job with these sets. They're, they're all really nice and adding a lot of detail. They're certainly the best um, GSE that I've seen in 400 scale. Um, and they obviously are also doing this in 200 too, so that's great. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Um, check out um, my feed for more videos and check on the site where I've written and about these fantasy wing sets and also got more images. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, so I'll see you next time.